All right, everybody, welcome back, and let's get into this one because generating content ideas uh, is one of those things that is just uh, overwhelming for some of us, uh, and no matter how good you are, how creative you are, you can get writer's block. So I'm very excited about this one, about generating content ideas. Um, it can be a daunting task, and especially while you're staring at a blank page, and that's one thing I wanna give you a, a, a huge recommendation. Never start from a blank page. Have a formula that you follow, and we're gonna get into that today. Um, as you go throughout your day, Make note of any ideas that you come up with. Some people love having a little notebook, whatever. Me, personally, my favorite way of doing this is use my uh, Notes app on my iPhone. Highly recommend if you guys haven't been using it. Use it, uh, it, it uh, syncs with my computer, uh, so I can do it uh, on the computer, I can do it on my phone. It's always with me, so it's a great place to just keep note of ideas, and I pin my note uh, to the top of my notes, a little a little pro tip there. Um, I've put together 10 categories of proven content along with multiple topics and headlines uh, to make a, uh, the, the content generation process easier. I have 90, yes, 90 different headlines and ideas for you to leverage in your business with your videos. And I had spent a lot of time going through and personally coming up with all these. I didn't just cut and paste them from some uh, PDF that I downloaded. This is personal writing them down, coming up with great ideas for, for that. Um, number one, content uh, category is local market updates. I mean, it's an obvious one, but it's underappreciated to be completely honest. Uh, it's one of the best ways to showcase your local knowledge of the most important thing, which is the real estate market. So many of us try to get creative and we forget about the basics and the basics is what works. Um, uh, these should be the staple of your real estate uh, content and done at least monthly. Now, you can do it on a larger metro market, but it works even better if you get down to the hyper local market. Plus, you're able to do it for multiple different ones and pinpoint different ones on targeting purposes, which we'll get into later for targeting and distribution. Um, you can make it formal or you could even do it while recording your phone. On one of the recording videos, I actually have how to step-by-step -step record your phone screen on your mobile MLS app on how to do it uh, in there. Here are some sample ideas uh, for headline uh, ideas for whether you title it or how you grab attention within the first three seconds. Um, month market update for area. Seems simplistic, but again, start with the basics. So you can say, hey, uh, December market update for Mission Viejo or uh, January market update for Orange County, California or whatever it is that your marketplace is, right? Or something huge just happened in the blank housing market, right? That's a great way to grab somebody's attention. Something huge just happened in the Orange County market update or whatever, right? What's happening with home prices in blank? Insert your area here, right? Why now is the best time to sell in Orange County, and then you get into the data. You know, there's less homes on the market now than there were this time last year, or whatever. Whatever it is that is a market data point you catch and you lead it in with why now is the best time, specifically, right? Check out these blank homes for sale in Mission Viejo, right? Check out these five homes currently active in Mission Viejo. Boom, 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 boom. You can go through on a screen recording. Really cool, right? Blank was a big change in the blank housing market, right? November was a big change in the Orange County housing market or in the Nevada, whatever it is that's your area, right? Um, why blank's housing market is different than blank, right? Uh, this happens a lot when we have uh, news articles that say nationwide home prices did X in the month of blank, right? When you can say, well, that's not my market, right? We all say that to each other, but why not put out video content on that sharing the data to your audience on video? Again, whatever can be video, should be video, and will be video. It's just a matter of will it be your video or your competition, right? or what the news gets wrong about the blank housing market, right? What the news gets wrong about the Orange County housing market, uh, where you can compare nationwide averages or uh, one article that you disagree with when you get into the data. Again, focusing on the data, not the drama. I love that quote. Feel free to use it. It's not mine, right? Um, the average price for homes in blank just went up 
or down blank percent, right? This is a great, elite, again, this is about leading off the video with an attention grabbing headline. Or homeowners in blank just made blank amount of dollars, right? Where you take that same thing, where you take the purchase price uh, percentage of increase or the sales price percentage of increase and you equate that to a dollar amount, where if the average went up 50 grand, boom, talk about that or whatever. It's a great way to grab somebody's attention. Again, these are examples, feel free to use it, but uh, I found that these would be attention grabbing, right? Educational real estate videos, right? This establishes your expertise and your authority. You should focus on avoiding mistakes, right? That's the content, right? It's all about avoiding mistakes. Uh, again, to get psychological, but people will do more to keep from losing than they will to gain. Think about it. What would you work harder to do? To make $10,000 or to keep someone from stealing $10,000, right? It's the same thing where like we all have the same leads, right? Let's just be honest, right? You get a name and a number at an open house or door knocking or an online lead. You might be less inclined to go right out and get it unless you hear somebody else in the office say, oh, I met this great person at open house. They have a, and it's like, whoa, that's the same person. I gotta go, I gotta call them, right? Again, uh, focusing on avoiding mistakes is really a good way to do it. But again, using bold headlines in the title really, uh, FOMO, which is fear of missing out, we're great on these. Example, right? How to blank before you buy or sell. Like how to perform, how to how to prepare your home for sale before you before you sell, right? Or how to avoid blank when buying or selling your home in insert your area here, right? How to avoid uh, paying for too many repairs when you're buying a home in Orange County, right? Something like that, right? Make sure to blank before you hire an agent right? Make sure you interview XYZ, again, giving you templates for you to build off of in here. Blank things to ask before you list with them, right? Uh, an agent, before you list with them, not an agent, but an agent, right? Uh, like five things, like number of things to ask before you hire an agent, right? Blank things to consider before buying in, insert your area, right? Seven things to consider before buying a home in Dana Point, right? Uh, 17 things to consider before moving to Tennessee, whatever it might be. But it's again, lists are great for these. Blank pros and cons of living in Orange County or Texas or whatever. Seven pros and cons before moving to this, right? Or I actually just went for it. Blank pros and cons before moving to. So it's living in versus moving to, just to give you different ideas. Of selling today in. This is where you can get a little bit more data, a little bit more storytelling, right? Seven pros and cons about selling in, insert your area. Or should I blank when buying or selling a home in blank, right? So should I, um, you know, interview a flat rate broker when I'm selling it, whatever it might be, right? How to get the seller to pay for blank when buying in blank, right? How to get the seller to pay for bringing your interest rate down when buying in Orange County. If you notice a lot of these involve your area because the it, it, it's really important to uh, have your base of content all be about a similar area. Uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be the certain 500 home farm that you work in, but try to stay within a, a, a geographical area, whether it's your county, whether it's your main metro, but it, it's ideally uh, the most valuable if you do a little bit more narrow focus rather than when selling a home in the United States, right? Because nobody searches selling a home in the United States. People will search selling a home in at least their in at least their state, if not their metro area. Again, something to think about, right? Or blank do's and don'ts when buying or selling in whatever. Like 10 do's and don'ts when selling in whatever. Again, it's about attention grabbing headlines. Third uh, content uh, category, listing walkthrough videos. Again, not listing videos where you're doing your uh, professional ones. These are you showing the property again. Because remember on the MLS, we can't put us. It has to be unbranded. That should be the professional one. But for your social media or for your promotional purposes, absolutely. Showcase your presentation still skills, right? You can showcase the details and the brand names to show that you have expertise and that you know about saleable home features. This is really a great way to have sellers preview uh, how you could potentially showcase their home when they hire you, right? It can be your listing or you could do another agent's listing if you get their 
their permission. You'd be surprised at how many agents will let you uh, showcase their listing, especially as you start to get more and more of a following. It gets easier and easier the, the larger your database and your network of people who follow your videos that they'll actually want for you to do a showcase on those. Again, in the beginning, you got to pay your dues, right? Listing walkthrough headline ideas, right? What does blank get you in insert area? What does one million dollars get you in Tennessee? What does two million dollars get you in Orange County, right? To do that, right? Blank miles from the beach for blank price, right? One mile to the beach for one million dollars, or you know, ten steps to the beach for ten million dollars, or something along those lines, right? Or the blank home in blank area under blank, right? I know there's a lot of blanks, but again, the largest home in all of Orange County under a million dollars. Or again, trying to do it where you're trying to grab the attention of why should they listen to you or why should they watch the video? The most incredible home in all of blank, right? The most expensive home in all of blank. People love those ones, by the way. People love looking at expensive homes. I don't know why. I do know why, because we, we always want to, you know, aspire to live in that hundred million dollar mansion, right? Um, the lowest price home in blank area. It interests people, and it also grabs people who want to move into a certain neighborhood. They're like, wow, I didn't know you could buy a home for that, right? Or how much does a blank home cost in, insert this area, how much does a 5,000 square foot home cost in Orange County? How much does a 2,500 square foot home cost in Timbuktu, right? Uh, what's, this is the coolest blank in Orange all of insert your area, right? Like this is the coolest backyard in all of Mission Viejo or insert your area here, right? The most incredible room I've ever seen in blank. Like I've never seen a master bathroom like this. This is the cool, with you in, in like you're in the shower, right? This is the coolest shower I've ever seen in blank, right? Uh, number four, the neighborhood or community info, right? This is how you can showcase your knowledge and connection and affinity to your market area or the general uh, area history is another way to do it. You could talk about local hot spots and small businesses. You can, uh, you should focus on searchable and shareable content ideas, things that people naturally have questions on, or things that people who live in the area know about. Right? Local restaurants are great for this, and the home or the, then the business owners will love you for really pushing their um, their info out to the greater to the greater network. This is a great way to get connected with small business and community within your market area. Uh, I cannot stress this enough. I think it's the most un underutilized uh, content idea to do. Um, but again, it's it's a great option in here. Uh, here's a couple uh, headline ideas, uh, content ideas. Uh, the top blank reasons to live in, insert here, right? The top seven reasons to move to Texas. The top, you know, whatever, right? Blank reasons why people love living in, insert the area, like right? 17 reasons why people love Orange County. Right? Blank reasons why I live living in the area. If you live in your market area, this is the best way to, to really ingratiate yourself to the community. Share that on local Facebook groups. Do uh, uh, directed ads with it. This is one of the best ways to connect to the areas. Like why you specifically love that. And if you have kids, put your kids on it. They love it. Oh my goodness, they eat it up. Right? The best place to get blank in blank, right? The best place to get a cup of coffee in insert your area, right? Or the best place to get a breakfast burrito in insert your area here, right? Uh, if you want the best blank in blank, go here, right? If you want the best breakfast burrito in all of Orange County, go here. That's the best way to grab somebody's attention because they want to disagree with you. And that's the best way to just blow up the comment section, right? Is to get something that people disagree with. No, that's not the best place. This is the best. Anyway, I get another one. Uh, did you know that blank used to be this, right? Where if you have historical photos is the best thing. Like, did you know that the pavilions used to be this? And it's like old orange groves or something like that. Awesome, you're standing in front and then boom, you cut to a, a screen or an, Im an image of like a black and white thing. Awesome if you have that, right? Why blank was even built, right? Like why did they construct this community back in 1950 or in 2010 or whatever it was is another great idea, right? The incredible history of insert your area here, right? The true blank, the true area locals get their blank here. Again, same thing where you're just sharing insider information. Again, you're wanting to connect to the community is a great option, right? Where the secret truth about blank 
will shock you, right? And I, I, even though I have area, you could put in a, like a local hotspot or anything like that. Again, secret info, insider info is awesome. Business owner or local interviews, right? This is really cool. Uh, you use the connections that you make while doing those community videos to then interview owners at the local shops. This is awesome, it's a great way to build uh, reciprocity and all that. The community will love to hear from the owners themselves, that's the key, is you try to get the owners themselves or even the people, if there's like a beloved checker, like, uh, uh, let's say like the people who do like the bags or something like they've been working there for 40 years at the same thing getting them to say why they've been there for 40 years like people love that stuff right everyone has an interesting story if you ask enough questions get them to tell theirs I cannot overemphasize this is that we're always looking for what's the great you know the local celebrity or anything like that but you'd be surprised that if you talk to somebody long enough how amazing their life story is if you get deep with them, right? Did they grow, grow up locally in the town? How'd they start that store? What was the biggest challenge opening up the store? What's their favorite memory from the community? Like, was there a time when they were on hard times and everybody banded together and whatever it was, right? And what's their favorite thing about the community? Again, connecting them with the, connect, with the, with the community. You wanna be viewed as connecting people to the community. Um, here's some headline ideas. How blank got its start in blank right? You won't believe the story of blank. It's especially uh, huge for um, small, bit, like not chains or anything like that, but these local mom and pop stores that have been there for years, or even if they just opened up, it's a great way to do that, right? The hidden secret of blank success, right? If you, they find out that they did something crazy or did something really cool to get started, boom, it's a great option for you. Or the incredible history of blank, the, the owner or even the, 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 the checker at the, the checkout aisle or whatever, right? Or how our blank hero got their start, right? Our Orange County hero, John Smith, got their start, right? Or you won't believe what really happened to John Smith, right? Uh, that's another way. Again, this is all about grabbing attention, you guys. You know, the true story about why blank is successful here in Mission Viejo, right? Or blank's Rules for success in this. Like if they start listing a bunch of things like this is what I did, this is what I did, or if you say, hey, what advice would you give for anyone else opening up a store nearby or whatever? It's a great way to do that, right? Or how blank came up with the best blank in the area, right? How they come up with the best recipe for pasta, whatever it is, right? Blank reasons why the owner loves this area. Again, finishing off with all, all about connecting the community with those people, right? Number six, community events. We all have events in all of our neighborhoods that residents love and people from out of the area come, right? Some events are yearly, some are more often, some are less often. Again, uh, uh, it, it's all about connecting with what's happening in the local marketplace. So look through your local social media groups, the websites or anything like that to see what's coming up and capture some of the footage. Just play around with it. Don't get overly you know, concerned with getting it just just right experiment, right? Here's a couple ideas. The yearly event at blank, right? Or blank reasons why we love whatever the event is, right? Again, lists are good, numbers are good, questions are good. You won't believe what's happening at this year's car show in, you know, whatever the city is, right? Blank spotlight on the blank annual uh, event, right? The fifth annual car show, the fifth annual neighborhood garage sale, whatever it might be, right? Who was the biggest winner at this year's eating contest or whatever it is, right? It's all about, you know, get, grabbing somebody's attention. You know, another successful eating contest in Orange County or whatever it is. You know, Blank's favorite time of year, the car show or the, uh, you know, pageant of the masters if you're in Laguna Beach, right? Or whatever. You know, this year's Blank was the best yet in Mission Viejo right? Come with me as we go to what, like if you're out in front of the area, like record yourself like documentary style. Hey, come with me as we go to the blank in blank, right? Come with me as we go to this year's car show here in Orange County or here in insert your city here, right? Or let's check out this year's event in our area. Number seven, a documentary style. Like this is where you document your life as a real estate agent. Um, show the world a behind the scenes. People love behind the scenes. I'm gonna share with you guys a couple of behind the scenes here about how I make these videos and what I do to make things easier. Um, anytime something emotionally charged happened, positive or negative, think if it could be a good video idea, right? Um, anything funny, exciting, even frustrating or surprising or even annoying. But 
uh, you know, make sure that you share your personality, but make sure not to get too negative or like attack somebody or belittle somebody by name. Or if you're just showing blatant incompetence, that's, that's horrible. Don't, don't do that. But you should, this is a great way to inject your personality in here. Focus on the humorous, exciting things that will get your audience to connect with you. Again, this is about showing your personality, showing who you really are, or at least who, how you want them to uh, perceive you, right? So let's talk about a couple headlines. You won't believe what happened to me while I was showing homes in, insert your area, right? Where it's like you, you ripped your pants on a chain link fence or whatever. It's like, you won't believe what happened to me, right? Or a day in the life of a real estate agent in Orange County, right? Or what it's really like selling homes in, insert your area, right? Or what I'm really like while driving to my listing appointment, right? You're blasting gangster rap or you're blasting show tunes and you're belting it out, right? People love that stuff. They eat it up. You're a human being. Show your human side, right? Or only real estate agents in Orange County will understand whatever it is. Or like if you're in an area where it snows and like then you got to get to the lockbox and whatever it is. But having something humorous, something that grabs attention, why should they watch? Or when an agent before you forgets the lockbox key and you got to like hop the back fence or climb into a window. Or again, anytime that something out of the ordinary happens that you want to showcase, think about how you can turn that into a video. Or my face when I get the listing, right? And you just got that big old smile or you got like some weird glasses on, what the heck, right? Uh, or when I'm late to an appointment and you can splice in like a comical video of somebody like weaving in and out of traffic. Again, being funny, not blatantly, you know, illegal, right? Uh, you know, this is cool, wait, this is the cool looking blank I've seen, uh, oh, this is the coolest looking blank I've seen in a home, right? Or the coolest looking bathroom, the coolest looking this, the coolest looking that. Um, can you believe this is what I saw at my showing appointment, right? Like something crazy, like I had one time that it, the home obviously hadn't been shown in a really long time and there was this huge spider web with this big fat like wolf spider out in front in the front yard. Uh, where it's like, you can tell that this one hasn't been shown in a while, right? Um, number eight, story time, real estate story time. I love this one. Um, this is when you get to talk, uh, when you talk and meet with enough people, you gather a ton of stories, right? We all have no shortage of stories of crazy things that have happened to us, amazing things that have happened to us, frustrating things that have happened to us. This is the time where we get to tell your favorite parts of it. You know, maybe you should change the names and places, protect clients if needed or other agents. Uh, but again, inject your personality. Have fun with this one. This has the power to get you a huge following if you do it right, but uh, if you do it wrong, it can it can screw with you, right? Uh, here's a couple ideas, right? One time when I accidentally blank, right? I accidentally, have you ever done this? You, you lock, it's an auto locking door and you forgot the key in there and then you had to like climb in. What? Telling funny stories that was scary at the time or frustrating at the time, but now you can sit back and laugh, right? Or the worst mistake I ever made in real estate was make sure it wasn't something blatantly incompetent or something that hurt somebody. Don't share that one. Make it a funny worst mistake, right? Or one time when I met a famous person or one time when I met, you know, my doppelganger or what time when I met what, whatever, right? Or the funniest thing that ever happened to me in real estate was blank, right? The scariest time showing houses was, we all have those stories, right? Or the worst escrow I ever had was, be careful, don't name somebody, don't do whatever, you know, change names, whatever. My favorite client ever was blank, Make that one the one that refers you the most and incentivize them to get them some more. Anyway, uh, or the craziest client I ever had was someone who, don't name them, was someone who did this, right? Or one time I almost forgot this or did this, whatever it is. Or the time I knew I was meant to be a real estate was blank, right? When did you know that you were meant to be? Like when somebody really told you something that how you really affected their lives or whatever, right? Uh, number nine, uh, real estate and economic news, right? This is when you can share about updates in the overall housing market or the overall economy. You usually has to do with like a recent article that comes out. So many of us just share articles time and time again. It's the same article. Take the little extra step to actually record a video on your thoughts about the, uh, the article itself. Find one that you think would be valuable to share and summarize it, and this is the key, provide context to the content. Not just this is what it says, this is what it means to you as a home buyer, this is what it means to you as a home owner, right? 
always speak what does it mean to me, right? As a, somebody in the local marketplace, try not to share too much negativity. Again, it's easy to share negativity, especially recently, right? But always strive to be the voice of reason, the voice of calm, be calm amidst the chaos, right? Here's a couple ideas, right? Big news out of the Federal Reserve and how that affects your area, right? Or what the recent change in blank means for our local housing market, right? The interest rates, the local change in tax law, the local change in whatever, or breaking news that impacts blank homeowners, right? Or why the recent blank is important to our area, right? Or you probably heard about blank. This is what that means for us, right? Again, different ways of capturing attention headlines hooks, right? Or did you hear about blank? right? Or there's a lot of news about blank. Here's why that's different here in, insert your area here. Or why is no one talking about blank? You hear my inflection? I'm not just reading. Like, why is no one talking about blank? It is why is no one talking about blank? Where you're surprised, right? That's going to grab somebody's attention better. Or I read or watched the entire blank so you don't have to. Here's what it means for insert your area, right? This is big for uh, if there's like big, huge articles that come out or big reports or like the Fed me like I watched the entire two hour Federal Reserve co conference. This is what it means for here, right? Or how blank will affect the blank housing market? Again, basic stuff, but again, giving you things to hook people's attention. Number 10, trending topics. Now this could be local or regional topics. It's great to find ideas for, for this at, on Nextdoor or different social media groups. We all know it's just a lot of people like complaining about parking or porch pirates or whatever, but take what's the flavor of the month or what everybody's talking about and create a solution, that's the key, uh, with your video or at least talk about it in a way that gets people to think as opposed to fight. Um, find topics that people care about. Try to stay away from political or religious topics, self-explanatory, right? Stay relevant to your community and to your audience. Like, don't talk about, like, I'm here in Southern California. I'm not going to talk about how the local blizzard on the East Coast affects what, right? It's like, stay relevant to topics that are germane to uh, to your, your, your network, right? And watch other content creators and see what's gaining traction. Put your own spin. Don't blatantly copy right? Uh, sorry, that's friend. <laughs> but don't blatantly talk, but take a topic and put your own personality, your own spin. Be careful. Uh, this is a way to gain traction quickly or lose credibility if done poorly. Like if you just come up with a horrible idea or like a horrible content thing, like people are going to think you're stupid, right? What was the, the, there was like a quote that says, you know, uh, it's better for people to assume you're stupid than to open your mouth and confirm their suspicions, right? Uh, but here's a couple ideas, uh, although I actually should, should refrain because uh, it's so different. I don't support ideas, but I am going to give you a general headline formula. So use these 10 steps when thinking through. I gave you those 90 other ones, but here's a formula to create your own from scratch. Number one, keep it short. Number two, share the benefits of something, of the benefits of reading or listening or watching, right? Be clear, don't confuse people, and integrate buzzwords or SEO-friendly stuff, uh, you know, thing like uh, the fear of loss or things like that. Integrate buzzwords or whatever's trending, uh, use those words in there. Use familiar language, not insider techno babble. Uh, don't talk about like basis, 75 basis points was raised. Like m normal people don't know what a freaking basis point is, right? Talk about real language in here. Uh, be congruent with the content. Don't just say like the 10 tips of doing this and then you share a video about a, you know, something that's totally different, right? Um, asking questions like, have you ever seen the blank, right? That's a good way of grabbing attention. Um, offer resources. Like, do you want the 17 best websites to take a look at what, whatever, like it, it encourages them to watch because they they want what you have to talk about. Use numbered lists, the seven tips about XYZ, right? Or inspire emotion, right? Anything that's gonna either uh, make people emotionally charged positive or negative is a great way. So in summary, this was a tall drink of water, I know, but I hope you got value from this. Here's the 10 categories again. Number one, local market updates. Number two, educational real estate videos. Number three, listing walkthroughs. Four, neighborhood and community info. Number five, business owner and local interviews, community events, real estate documentary style, real estate story time, real estate or economic news, or hopping on trending 
topics. Now, because I went over all of these, make sure that you download the sample content headlines down below. Um, uh, I have a PDF down below of all of it there, so that way you can leverage them and then create your own. But I hope this was helpful. I will see you on the next video.